Doctor Who Season 14 musical numbers and Space Babies. Are you looking forward to the return of this sci-fi show? Or is it going to be dead on arrival? Hi, everybody. I'm your host, Red One, and we've got some Doctor Nick news. I mean, sorry, some Doctor Who news to get into today. All we're missing is a good old scissoring. Oh, we're scissoring. <laughs> like I said, we've got some news to get into today. I'm going to put myself in the corner and I will see you in a second. Nailed it. So here we are. We are Radio <laughs> Times. Doctor Who Season 14 unveils new trailer featuring Space Babies and musical numbers. This is supposed to be sci-fi, folks. Serious sci-fi as well. <laughs> Not anymore. A brand new trailer for Doctor Who has been unveiled, showing off even more Shooty Gatawa and Millie Gibson. She cringed. Not for long anymore. Millie Gibson is out of there uh, in the first season. In this latest trailer, Doctor beckons us to join him. He ain't beckoning me, baby. Um, to join in in his new adventures. And we see everything from musical numbers, space babies, trash, apocalyptic dangers, New enemies and the doctor threatening a dangerous new foe. <laughs> oh my god. A trans musician. Oh, trans women aren't really women. And the doctor threatening a dangerous new foe. A trans musician. Oh, we're scissoring. Once again, the trailer features our hero promising Carla Sunday, Michelle Greenidge. That he will keep her adopted daughter, Ruby Millie Gibson, it's safe in their travels. Will he keep his promise? New footage arrives today, Sunday the 31st of March, along with confirmation of the new episode titles for the upcoming season 14. No one gives a shit anymore about Doctor Who. The list of episodes have been unveiled in order to as Space Babies, The Devil's Cord, Boom, 73 Yards, Dot and The Bubble, Rogue, The Legend of Ruby Sunday and Emperor of Death, which <laughs> will probably be the musical trans person. We ain't going to watch the trailer because it'll be shit. And BBC are assholes. Um, aside from the third and sixth episode, showrunner Russell Dickhead Davis, I do apologise, Russell T. Davis is the writer of every episode with former showrunner Stephen Moffat, who Moffat made one of my favourite shows of all time, Coupling. He's fallen a long way from there. He's fallen a long way. Kate Heron and Bryony Redman uh, penning the sixth which is set in the Regency period. Oh my God, folks, it just looks absolute fucking terrible. Absolute terrible. Season 15, we will see the return of Tennant or Matt Smith to help this Black Doctor um, because this, this season will fucking struggle. And for all those people who were saying... Yo, oh, Disney don't have any control of Doctor Who. That's just, you know, it, they don't have any control. Told you so. Told you so. <laughs> and we have found the release date, which proves my point. Disney have more control over Doctor Who than any of you fuckers like to admit. Doctor Who season 14 will begin on Saturday the 11th of May. 2024 is going to be a shit show. The BBC have confirmed the first two episodes will be released at once and will debut on the iPlayer at midnight. At midnight, folks. It's it's going to be released on midnight. So, hence, the American audience will get it first. Hence, Disney will get it first, you fucking retards. Um, I hope you're happy with that. Bury your heads in sand. Uh, Disney don't have any control. Yes, they do. This proves it. This proves Disney have utter control over Doctor Who. And season 14, you will see how much control Disney have. Because Russell T. 
Davis doesn't have any fucking control whatsoever. He's more he's more bothered about getting cock from some fucker. Um, but anyway, Russell Dickhead Davis, one of the many contributing facts why BBC is fucking dying. The BBC is dying, and I'm all for it. I hate the BBC. Doctor Who showrunner says Disney Plus deal had to happen. No, you just wanted to suck Disney balls, Russell. You just wanted to suck the balls of Disney, you fucking piece of shit. As the de demise of BBC is well is undoubtedly on its way. Thanks to this prick. Thanks to this prick. Um, and the BBC doing some horrible fucking shit. Hiding Jimmy Savile. Um, <laughs> who else have they hid? Who else has the BBC hid? You fucking scumbags. Absolute scumbags. The BBC is scum. Scum. And I hope, and I really do hope, when you, the BBC, it will have to go down the advertisement route. It's going to understand it really shouldn't have pissed off the country that pays for the B, for the license fee. It has. It's pissed off the whole country and it's appeased the far left bubble which is probably about 20 of them. And that's it. They're pissed off the rest. And they, the BBC in 10 years won't be a thing. I, the BBC won't be a thing in 10 years time. It may be like a fringe podcast or a radio TV show, a radio TV show, a radio show, but the BBC will not be a thing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. Let's have an adult conversation. Let me know your thoughts. Do Disney have utter control over Doctor Who? Again, I told you so. Disney do have control. But let me know your thoughts on the video. If you liked it, please give me a like and please think about subscribing to me. If you didn't like the video, go complain to Sweet Baby Inc. I could not give a fuck. I'm your host, Rarity One, and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.